Hello and welcome to another video from the Hattrick Manager football series. If you enjoy football management content like this video, then hit that subscribe button. In today's video, we are going to go through our trading, give you an update of where we're at, then do a youth pool, and then lastly, just give you an update again of where we are on the league. How are we doing this season? Well, by the title of this video, we lost a game that we should have won. Now, who's at blame? Put my hands up, put my hands up. It's me, I'm to blame. I forgot to select my team. It was like, oh, I'll do it in a minute, I'll do it in a minute, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow, and you continue and continue and continue. Continue. But first, let's have a look at, at my players, how they are training. So I'm going to go by not best position. Best position? Is that me setting up as best position? Or is that what the game thinks? That's a new one. So that must be the game thinking these are their best positions. Oh, okay. Didn't realize you could do that. New feature. So he's a core defender. He's a core defender. But again, 15 Titanic. How is he doing in many terms? So we bought him 1.5 million. And what's he looking around now? 1.9. Just under 2 mil. So half a million profit. Yeah, it might be my first Titanic player. He's only 24 as well. So who else have we got? Jerry Mosney. He's a world class. He's a core defender. Lope Abajo. Now he's trying in for me just as a core and a youngster just while we're doing this actually he's got formidable passing his playmaking is awful it's gonna take ages to get up to decent playmaking but it's fine no no it's all these type of players are all about making money and do you know what i could play him as a defender he could just drop back into my core when i sell mosni plantia because ideally i'd like to play two or three out of back that's what the top teams do so again a future core i mean if he gets to 15 you look at plantia he's got formidable passing compared to his solid passing and he's already got playmaking week he's got a bit better playmaking but he's gonna probably be in that cycle then we've got Yacht 18 years old nearly nearly 19 he's a brilliant Remil 18 years old outstanding playmaking already at solid it's gonna be interesting Shane Vate's passing is not at passable or solid would have been good and then you've got our usual players our core midfield is Pella Jelly actually saying no I'm training him in defending because he's defending 10 so He's 10 and 13. Let's have a look to see if that's done anything for his value. I bought him for 190,000. It's now worth two and a half million. This is how you make money in this game. Train your players up, find them cheap. That's why for best. He was probably a solid playmaker. It might even be worse than that. Might not even have the money for it. He probably was a solid with that price, I would guess. But now he's a outstanding defender and a world-class playmaker. Nothing else. That's it. But still, two and a half million. 2.3 million profit. We do have four million in our bank so we'll be looking to reinvest some of that next year oh we did this season where i don't know i don't know it depends what i'm doing in my training i think next season's playmaking I might be scoring i can't remember which way we was going but we have to condense our 10 core training to six core because the wingers or in scoring you only have three so six a and b team and then in playmaking for wingers only got half and it's just literally no point i would just back in players there just just to build up their playmaking maybe we could put in planter in our B team, he could be playing in playmaking on a winger spot. Get that playmaking up. Never know in a season, you could get that up to eight or nine, then goes towards his value and helps us out creating these good little players. Right, then we've got Bura. He's playmaking 14, excellent defending. And then we've got David Furk. Yeah, he's not, he's just one of our strikers. And then this player, Patrick Ludwig, eight on defending, 12 in playmaking, 11 on scoring, and seven on passing as well. Again, let's have a look. I bought him for one. 1.3 million but I bought him as a core striker but because he was so young I started putting him in my playmaking B team and that got him up and now I'm putting him in defending so he's not looking too bad so 1.3 million if we sold him today we could get 3 million there we go double his value more than double and then we go to Sean Cochrane when I bought him I was so excited I thought yes this player is going to be amazing not bad passing solid winger solid world class 13 world class defending formidable again he's 22 nearly 23 I bought him for 277k he is now worth 3 million another player worth 3 million for me Ian Barlax oh Ian Barlax right. he's an original member of my team and I first started he was just a youngster but he's just managed to stay in my team he is a solid playmaker outstanding defending didn't even buy him he wasn't even a youth player 
He was literally an original player yonks ago. Reached 100 games for us. He scored 11. Let's see how much he is. 315k. Bring him with us. Ever since, would I ever get rid of him? You know what? We'll probably just keep him until he retires. Put him in a Hall of Fame. Yeah, just for be staying there with us. And just see what he starts out at the end. Be funny. Dito Nascimento. He's just a playmaker for us. Sanchez Malado. Again, not training him. Ellsworth. Oh, he's another one. Ellsworth. He stayed with us. He's 25. Been with us from the beginning. Again, not a youth player, just an original player. So when if you were starting the first team, you never know. These players might stick with you. In fact, he's been scoring quite a few. He scored 36 goals for us. Fair enough, not many, but quite good. How much is he worth? 25k. 25k. Solid scoring, solid playmaking. He's had a bit of training in some areas. No defending, though. And then a record-breaking sign-in was Jeff. Vito Zanon, so he scored four goals for us already. Fantastic player. I mean, supernatural, world class, outstanding, excellent, amazing. I brought him for 3.8 million. Has he dropped down? No, he's gone up 4.6 million now. And then we got Villa, so and our trainer. Okay, so that's a quick update on our team of how we're doing in our training. Let's go and do our youth team. Now, whilst I've been away doing football manager content, we pulled a youngster, as you can see. We got rid of all those other youngsters who we had shirt numbers on, but we pulled a youngster who's at my number one, and he's a solid in playmaking. Not yet, but potential solid, which is amazing. And he was 15 years old. So in for scale of trying to find a youth pool, that is really, really, really good. And it's very rare as well. I mean, I've pulled bloody loads of youth pools. But yeah, I'm really excited. Really want him to get to that potential of playmaking solid. Promo him 181 days. I want to promo him straight away and see if I can either A, make money or he, it could be good timing if we go into playmaking and training next season. He could be jumping in as one of my youths. It should be great to have his grumpy kid, isn't he? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Another solid. 15 years old, which we wanted. Brother. Brother of some is someone else in their team. That is funny. It's playing all right as well. That must be another new feature without any further training. Poor, weak, weak. No, it's the last time I see him. wonder if you say no, does that get rid of his brother's accessibility to get to that player? I don't know. If you know, let me know. 15, wretch, disastrous, weak. And he's got no siblings. And last one, we always have to take these. And it looks rubbish. 16, weak, inadequate, weak. How are we doing this season? So we've lost three games. And let's just go from the start to the end because I don't actually know. I think last video was about our best season ever. That's how long it's been. And we're already in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nearly finished season. Nearly finished the season. We've got five more games. We drew to Norwich Rangers. Away, one all. Great, great result. And then we beat FCX Power at home 2-1. I was thinking, oh, wow, this is going to be a great season. Ifly, I don't think we've ever beat Ifly or even drew against Ifley. We lost 3-1. That was our first defeat. I can take that. That's fine. I can live with it. Then we beat Rough Dog uh, United 5-0. And then we was at home against Helix. And I was thinking to myself, like last season, we beat them twice, didn't we? And we lost at home. I thought, oh no. My selective team just didn't get a victory. And then we play teams that we should be beating. Husky United, we beat them 4-1 away. Then we play Crossanol. We beat them 5-0 at home. And then we play them away and we lose 3-2. We should should have won that game. We'll look at league table and stats and tell you why we should have won that game. But we should have won that game 3-2. Actually, let's just jump into it. Elin Common has decided to play 1-5-2. So it let me play with lesser players than I needed. So it could have been a whitewash. If I didn't select enough players, it would have been 5-0 whitewash. So we had a chance to win it. We nearly did it. We were winning 2-0, fifth first minute, and something took point. We got that injury, Lekman, our goalie, and then they just come back 3-2. 58th minute, 78th minute, 80th minute. We should have won that game but AO as you can see it's my fault I didn't choose my team and that's what happens so lesson learned choose your bloody team but because of that good start draw against Newark Rangers FCX Power who are top of the league we're third on 16 points two points above Newark Rangers and five points above Helix and just think if we had won that game that we should have won we would have been on 19 points pretty clear in third and this would have been our best season ever can it still be who knows subscribe like my video wish me luck have a good day and i'll catch you on the next one thank you for watching if you like this video and then continue your journey and watch this one